Um, the first segment of this video sucks. Giant cock. It's extremely fucking boring. It's stupid. Um, I will just skip it. Where the fuck? Where are the chapters? There were chapters in this, and now there are no chapters. And then my fucking browser freaked out. What is this? Where are the chapters? Did he delete the chapters? He did. He, like, deleted the chapters on this video. How the fuck am I going to know how to skip ahead, then? Let me try reloading it. That's crazy. Heavens to Betsy. Okay. I... How the fuck am I going to skip through this, then? I'm so... I have been so epically owned by Charlie. Look at this man. He knows. He's like, yeah, I did delete the fucking timestamps on my videos so that you can't skip through it. What are you going to do, drama retard? You're going to listen to the entire 25 thing... 25 minute video? I don't, I don't think so. Fucker. Bitch. Cry about it. Cry about it. Um, okay. I guess I will. Let's see if I can use the transcript to skip through this. 2x speed. Oh, jeez. See, look at this. Holy Toledo. Oopsie poopsie. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, there are three parts to this video. There is the one where he explains what he means. I guess I just won't fucking play it then. He wins. Uh, there are three big parts where at this point he says what he actually means. At number two, part two for like ten minutes, he explains how Sneeko is a pedophile. And then at part three, he explains um, his stance on the issue altogether. So he reiterates that, and, and actually, I will give him some benefit of a doubt. I'm not going to completely shut on him because in his defense, and I think that this is a legitimate defense, he, he asks Sneeko to clarify, because I guess he was going to do a drama video on Sneeko, and he was like, there's no fucking way that this guy is actually saying that adult men should be able to fuck 12-year-olds. Like, that's preposterous. There's no way that that's happening. So he sends a sneak on message and says, hey, you know, I want to chat to you about, you know, what you're saying to get some context because I, I just can't believe what I'm hearing. And Sneeko says, yeah, OK, we'll talk. Um, right now I'm doing a live stream. Uh, let's chat on Discord in a, in a couple hours. And he says, OK. So they have a Discord call. And Sneeko says, do you mind if I record this? And he says, sure, go for it. But what he didn't know and was not told to him is that Sneeko was actually – live streaming their conversation so this was a debate where one person knew they were in a debate and the other thought they were in a genuine conversation with another person so charlie was effectively lied to and uh sneeko was being duplicitous for the sake of getting internet clout so i want to make it absolutely known that sneeko is a pedophile he's a brown Mohammedan pedophile that wants to rape kids and thinks that child rape is cool and the reason why he thinks child rape is cool is because he's a brown Mohammedan who worships worships a pedophile if it has if you don't know if you somehow don't know um the muhammad who claims to be a prophet um married a six-year-old and raped her at nine and when he died, he died in the arms of his child bride and declared her to be his favorite. So Muhammad's favorite wife of his three wives uh, was the child bride that he raped at nine because he's a pedophile. And Sneeko, a brown Mohammedan pedophile himself, worships this pedophile as part of his uh, culture and religious identity. So if there's any, any confusion whatsoever, um, Sneeko does not belong in civilized countries. He belongs south of the Mediterranean, south of Gibraltar, south of Istanbul and uh, should be away from society where these things are not acceptable. Charlie, as a Hapa, mistakenly believed that this uh, brown Mohammedan pedophile could be reasoned with and opened into a conversation with him where he was shocked that the man would simply say, yeah, I think that as soon as a girl starts bleeding, um, it should be okay for people to have sex, men to have sex with her from any age as long as her father consents to it. Um, Charlie was kind of blindsided by this and engaged in some argument tactics that made him look really bad, in part because a brown Mohammedan pedophile uh, published them um, as sound bites. And now I must turn on Charlie because he's an idiot. In his uh, excuse, he says, what I didn't know, I was not supporting the surgery, but I was supporting the introduction into the path of transitioning as a child, which isn't really any better. 
and in the second or uh, the last third of the video he explains i am fully pro lgbtqip plus i am fully for children finding their own gender identity i am fully for puberty blockers and transitioning as a child the only thing i am not for is for uh child genital mutilation surgeries which he seems to mistakenly believe doesn't happen he says that they're extremely uncommon um, as if there isn't a person named Jazz Jennings who had gener genital mutilation surgery as a child on national television. Um, the surgeries are common. There are hospitals. I think um, there's one hospital in Ohio. Is it St. Jude's that does the child genital mutilation surgeries um, for any kid that asks for it? Uh, there are a enormous, enormous number of young girls who are having double mastectomies for um, purely... Uh, pu purely superficial reasons um, as soon as they hit puberty. So Charlie's an idiot and Sneeko's an idiot. Um, Sneeko's also a pedophile who worships a dead pedophile that raped a nine-year-old girl, To just to reiterate myself. And um, yeah, they're both losers. His video does add a lot of context, which I think is in his benefit. Um, and he should... He wants to step back from drama. In fact, I noticed that when uh, I clicked his channel, he had put out two new videos just in the last day, a Doritos tier list and a brand new one hour old uh, Marvel's Overwatch. I don't know what the fuck that is. What's a Marvel's Overwatch? Did they put out their own like hero shooter? I heard good things about it. I mean, it looks rivals. Well, okay. I don't know. I, I've never heard of this before, but Charlie put out a video and he said that it's not bad. I trust him on this. Uh, the other thing that he did that I didn't touch on because I did things out of order like a fucking imbecile is that he left his own podcast. Um, and I, I will read his message. So this is, um, I, this isn't from him actually. This is from the podcast. Uh, he says, or they say, hello everyone. Effective immediately. Charlie has made the decision to leave both the official podcast and red thread. He wants to go on an indefinite hiatus to scale back his time spent on the uppercase I internet. I know I can feel my insidious tendrils affecting Kaya in particular, as he now spells the internet correctly. This is, this is a direct result of my influence, and I take full credit of this. Uh, to scale back his time on the uppercase I internet and the recent hate, we obviously wish him the best for everyone to respect his decision, uh, and for all to know the show will always be open for him to drop by and talk, shop, should he wish to return. We know that this will disappoint some of you, but we're still committed to making the entertaining show you're familiar with. The show will go on. The official podcast, Red Thread, and Criminally Stupid are not going anywhere in light of this announcement. The contri contributions to the official channel and uh, or will be continuing as usual, bonuses and all. No change in schedule or pace for other than no Red Thread this week due to Isaiah being on holiday, uh, with even more stuff on the horizon. Um... So the official podcast specifically, we may consider a replacement in time, depending on how things go. But for now, we're going to be continuing the show for three remaining original hosts. In the event we wish to return as a four host format, we will d discuss the possibility of fan favorite candidates or someone who thinks we think fits our vibe and style. Feel free to leave us your suggestion as well. No, it's not going to be boogie. And they're producing episode 400 this week. Should I be fourth chair chat? I could, I'll just do, I, I made this joke in the thread, but I'll just do my, um, my Charlie impression for the entire thing. Hey everybody, it's me, Critical. I came back to the, uh, the official podcast again. I decided I couldn't live without you. Um, I actually, I made, I made a full reversal in my prior opinion, TTD, fuck trannies. Um, I, I spent all night watching Medicare's video about, uh, penis scrotal flap vaginoplasty, and I decided that doing that shit to kids is the most immoral fucking thing I've ever seen, so I think that, uh, just completely obliterating them from the face of the planet is the direction that we should go in now. Uh, penis boogers, ball sweat, um, moist dildos, uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> Is that is that is that about right? Did I did I nail it? <laughs> Can I fill in? <laughs> Perfect. Oh my god, the chat's going wild. The chat's going wild. I think I nailed it. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to pop my fingers while recording. That's uh, so trashy of me. <laughs>
Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.